We're here on the last day of the farmer's market for the 2013 season. We're here with a couple of the merchants. And why do you gentlemen participate in the farmer's market here in Millington, Tennessee every year? Um, go ahead, Jack. I do more socialize and meet people. Come out here on Saturday mornings. It gives me something to do. And I make chili powder and grow herbs. And it gives me a chance to make a couple dollars while I have fun. and it gives me something to do on Saturdays and I enjoy coming down here and being with the customers and the other vendors. It's just something nice to do and it's supporting the market and I'm trying to help the market. You're known as the boy peanut guy. I'm the boy, I'm the peanut guy. Go ahead and get a little steam out of there. Now, Marla's Garden has been a part of the Millington Farmer Market ever since it started in 2010. Why do y'all participate in it every year? Well, we live in Raleigh. That's where our crops are grown. And we want to keep things as local as we can. And this is a better way for us to bring it out to the community at large. Now, if people know y'all around Millington for the wonderful selection y'all have, fresh vegetables. Why do you do it? You know, a lot of people this day and age just run to the grocery store and buy their stuff. Why do you guys do that and bring it out to the people? Well, she's the farmer. She loves growing the crops and we want to share. And it's a way to help support the community and it helps support us in our operation. So we love to grow things. I like to dig it. So I'm happy to support the next year more. All different kind of good stuff. We're here with Mindy's Garden. A first time participant this year. She started here in June at the Millington Farmer Market. So how was your first year here at the Millington Farmer's Market? My first year here was wonderful. I started coming because I have some health problems and I've been home a lot. Um, I grow lots of blackberries and I was looking for something to do to sell my blackberries and I ended up here finding that I could sell my vegetables and my jellies and I've expanded as I've gone into making some healthier breads for people because so much of what we buy in the market isn't healthy. It has so many chemicals and preservatives and I want to provide the community with the pesticide free um, food, fresh produce, and breads that are actually healthy. I make an apple bread from the apple trees that I grow, and the main ingredient in the bread is actually apples. And it's very low sugar, and people taste it and they think that it's full of sugar, which it's really not. And it's just nice to be able to help people eat healthy because there's too much sugar and too many chemicals in our diet. So I love the Millington Farmer's Market. It's been a wonderful place to spend my summer. We have regulars here at the Millington Farmer Market. And we have a first year vendor. And let's talk to Joy today. Why did y'all join the Millington Farmer's Market this year? We enjoy people and we wanted to give back to the community and by selling our produce and baked goods, uh, they give back to us. And we enjoy all the people and all the people that come to buy. So will you be back next year? Yes, we will. It's a lot of fun. And we love to see the things grow because that's a gift from God is to see things grow. And we know what we're eating. It's fresh. <laughs> Just a quick look at Crafts Alley, and we're here with Janet Alley, who's been a part of the Milton Farmers Market for three years. Why do you participate in the Milton Farmers Market? Um, it's fun. I get to see a lot of people. I do every other week, so every other week I get to see these people, and it gives me somewhere to sell the stuff that I like to do. So how long have you been doing stuff like this and just creating masterpieces like this? Uh, okay, um, at least since 
least 10 years. Okay, no, we're back, we're back. Yeah. Uh, my grandma taught me when I was about 8 years old. And then I just never did it. And then I was around 20, I think, I picked it up and, and started experimenting and learning more stitches. And this is what I ended up with. Just got to look at Utterly Country, and here's the merchant here herself. And you said you just joined the Millington Farmer Market this past June. What made you join, and how has it been? Because it was cost efficient, and we get a lot of regulars in every week. So you've been enjoying it. Yes, we have, and we enjoy the people. It's fun. Now, now your product here are unique. A lot of people have vegetables, and but you know the artsy side, the crafty side. Y'all bring that. How does it feel to supply people with wonderful artistic things like this? Well, I enjoy people looking at my stuff and them liking it. It makes me feel good about my stuff. <laughs> and last question for you. I know a lot of people gonna say utterly. This has got to deal with cows. Why didn't I utterly? Country? Well, I used to do mainly cow wood things, and I would paint cow wood things, but uh, mainly I've gotten away from that a lot, and uh, my husband does most of the cutting out, and now he carves, and he does scroll saw, a lot of scroll saw work, and that's mostly what we do. We've been doing this for three, this is our second and we conclude our tour of the Millington Farmers Market 2013 with a sweet treat here with B&D's Honey. And um, y'all been a part of the, the Millington Farmers Market this year. How long have you been a part of the Farmers Market overall? This is the third season. Yeah. So how does it feel to bring such a unique product to town and selling natural honey? support that everybody's been giving us as far as wanting local honey so it's been a blessing so yeah, amen to that. yeah it has been and we get to see everybody and talk to people and then repeat business already so it's so, exciting so it seems like the Milton farm market allows people that fellowship come together and at the same time promote healthy living and things like that how does it feel to be a part of that kind of environment Oh, absolutely exciting. And it's worth it because you're right. We, everybody comes up here and they people um, come each week and they know what they want. And then you get to uh, meet new people and see people you had not seen in a while. And then you do. You get to be a part of, um, you know, things that are grown naturally. So, or in our case, not grown, spit up. <laughs> So, good Lord's willing, will we see y'all back in 2014? You better believe Amen, it, Tom. absolutely. Y'all yes, come sir. see us.